Hello all, welcome to Tech Capture. So in this our series of Google Cloud Networking, we'll see in this video what is hybrid networking. So let me get started with hybrid networking without wasting much time here. So first we'll see what is hybrid networking. So just an example, if you want to connect your one Google Cloud VPC to another Google Cloud VPC or you want one of your virtual machine to communicate with another virtual machine in another Google Cloud VPC. So you have option we already seen that VPC peering. We can create a VPC peering. We can peer to VPC network so that both the virtual machine can communicate with each other using a public, uh, not public, using a private IP. So that is internal communication is established between two Google Cloud VPC using a VPC peering. But let's say example, you want to access your a Google Cloud virtual machine from your on-premises virtual machine or you want to access on-premises virtual machine from your a Google Cloud virtual machine. So how you can establish connectivity between your on-premises data center and your Google Cloud network or you want to connect your Google Cloud network to AWS network or Azure network or any other cloud provider. So that connectivity is called as hybrid connectivity. So let's see here. So here if you are connecting your data center on premises data center or your AWS or Microsoft Azure or any other cloud provider to a Google Cloud network, it is called as hybrid connectivity because we are connecting Google Cloud to any other cloud provider or a on premises network. Now what are the options available for hybrid networking in a Google Cloud? So we'll see all that options here. So first we have a interconnect. So in interconnect, there are three types. One is a dedicated interconnect. Another is partner interconnect and third is a cross cloud interconnect. Second option we have is a cloud VPN and third option we have peering with Google. So peering with Google, you can ignore for some time because it's not only limited to a Google cloud. It will give access to your a Google workspace and other Google services. So it's overall a Google product, not only a Google cloud product. So consider only two options here an interconnect and a cloud VPN. So when we should use a cloud VPN and when we should use a interconnect. So let's see here how to choose our connectivity method here. So if your bandwidth or your network speed required is very less that is 1 Gbps to 3 Gbps and you need to do a quick setup then you can use a VPN. So this VPN will communicate using the VPN you can communicate from your Google Cloud network to on-premises network but the traffic will be flow through the encrypted tunnel over the public internet. Okay. So that one thing to remember whenever you are using the VPN your traffic will flow over the internet. So this is a VPN virtual private network. Second is a interconnect. Now in interconnect as I said we have three options. One is partner interconnect. Second is a dedicated interconnect and third is a cross cloud interconnect. So first you can see partner interconnect. If you need a speed from 50 Mbps to 50 Gbps you can use partner interconnect. In this case you have to involve with third party service provider and it will be a physical link from your on premises network to a service provider to your Google Cloud network. Third will be dedicated interconnect. Here it is a direct physical cable from your on premises data center to Google Cloud Edge location or Edge network. So there are two type of links either a 10 Gbps or 100 Gbps links available for a dedicated interconnect and third option is cross cloud interconnect this is a completely new service here you will have option to connect from one cloud provider like google cloud to another cloud provider like aws azure oracle or alibaba cloud so these are the options available now we'll see all these things one by one i'll show you on a google cloud console how we can see this product in google cloud console and how we can use these services so let's go to a google cloud console now so on your console just type hybrid connectivity so i already have here hybrid connectivity so go in hybrid connectivity and here you will see the option vpn interconnect okay so first i'll go to interconnect and we'll show you available three options here 
so click on set up physical connection so as i said this interconnect is nothing but a physical connection in form of cables so google will help you to set up this physical connection so from here you have to order this uh, or you have to raise request for your interconnect so you can see the types here dedicated interconnect so here it is a direct link between your on premises network to your google cloud network then in partner connect there will be one third party service provider which will help you to set up the connectivity between your network on premises network to the google cloud network so there are a service provider available and you can check here what all service providers are available so let me open in new tab and you can see the service provider here okay so i will see for india what are the service provider so in india you can see the airtel tata communication asian technologies and again we have vodafone idea so these are the well known service provider in india so they will help to set up a partner interconnect which will set up connectivity from your data center on premises data center to a google cloud network okay and third is cross connect cross cloud interconnect so in this you will have your another cloud provider it can be your aws oracle azure or alibaba cloud so these are the supported cloud provider as of now you can raise request for that so suppose if i click cross cloud con uh, interconnect options okay so first i will go with a dedicated so i won't raise a request i'll just show you the process so click the required one select on continue so order new dedicated interconnection click on continue and you have to fill the details so as i said we have option for this to either you can put 10 gbps or like there the links are informed by the 10 gbps physical or 100 gbps so if you need 20 gbps it will put two of the 10 gbps so you don't have option in between like 25 35 or 55 gbps so these are 10 gbps links so either you can put 10 gbps 20 or the multiple of the cable so max available cables are 8 per interconnect per dedicated interconnect and if you are using 100 then max capacity is 2 so either you can put 200 gbps so these are the important things to remember if you are going for your a network engineer certification exam else if even if you are working as a network engineer in google cloud then also these things are important okay and other things you have to feel like location you have to choose if your location is not available among this you have to go for a partner interconnect okay so google age location should be present in this location then only you can set up dedicated interconnect so let's say i'll just select any one location it will give you the details okay and let me go back i'll select uh, let me uh, check for city and mumbai if we have anything okay so in mumbai the tata mumbai and equinix so if i support click on the tata so here also we'll get this options okay so these things will be helpful if you are setting a dedicated interconnect now let me show you how we can request for a partner interconnect so here if we continue it will ask again to choose a partner so check your connection i already have a service provider or find a service provider so if i already have service provider i can simply select a network and create a all required fits and create a, a request so that service provider and google cloud will help you to set up the partner interconnect and third option see this is completely new service cross cloud interconnect so this is order new cross cloud interconnect remote cloud provider so we'll see what are the options here so currently these are only four options as i said we have alibaba cloud aws microsoft azure and oracle so even if we are using a cross cloud interconnect at the back end it will use a dedicated only because here you will see the links are 10 gbps and 100 gbps so at the back end it is setting up the 
dedicated interconnect but it's not from on premises to google cloud it's between google cloud to aws or google cloud to azure data center or azure network so here also the same details you have to fill and you can fill your contact information then their field engineer will contact you for the process and they will set up your physical connection for hybrid connectivity now let me go back to my slide and we'll show you some details so i will show you the some sample architecture diagram for this hybrid connectivity i picked it from a google cloud documentation itself so this is for dedicated interconnect so there will be physical link between a google peering edge and your on premises data center or a network devices like a router for partner interconnect there will be one service provider and they are having their network devices which will placed in between your on premises and a google cloud so this is you can call it as intermediate service provider between google and your on premises data center for cross cloud interconnect so these four are cloud currently supported and there will be a physical dedicated interconnect link between google cloud and your like cross cloud provider which can be your aws azure oracle or alibaba cloud so this is nothing but a dedicated interconnect with other a cloud provider and then here we can also use a vpn for like we don't have much requirement for 10 gbps or 100 gbps we need just small bandwidth then we can even use vpn for on premises to gcp or your aws to gcp or your azure to gcp for this hybrid connectivity you can use ha cloud vpn as well so in next video i'll be showing one small demo on a vpn because interconnect is not in our scope we cannot set up interconnect we only can raise the request for interconnect but yeah vpn is something we can do in our uh, cloud console so i will show you how we can communicate using the internal ip between the two network using a vpn so for this video we are stopping here so thank you for watching this video and we'll see you soon in a next video